I shouldn't be alive. Like I started doing that decision tree, and I got to the six months and the annual, and it was getting to the call price, and all of a sudden, like, I decided to take the puts. I, I don't know what happened. Like, I thought that it was going to be like, uh, I think we chose the wrong path. It's too late to turn back now. We gotta press on. Base camp, day one, February 19th, 2010. It has become increasingly clear that we chose the wrong path from Levy to Hariri. It has been over a week since the snow apocalypse. Still, it does not appear that there has been any snow removal whatsoever from the patio. This has been a devastating setback. The terrain is treacherous. Tired and weary, we have set up camp. Nitten's attempt to light a fire with our management science and finance book has become futile. Still, our spirits are high. We will continue our journey tomorrow. Despite setbacks, we will persevere. Day two. After a long day of travels, we are setting up camp for a second night on this frozen tundra. We've made progress, but not nearly as much as we'd hoped. Nitten is becoming increasingly agitated. Fuck you, I'm out of cigarettes. Still, we remain hopeful. Occasionally, we've heard helicopters, but hopes of search and rescue were quashed by the realization that it was just a Georgetown University hospital chopper. We wonder if anyone even knows we're lost and in peril. Russ, when you're done talking to yourself, will you help me set up this fucking tent? We're trying to remain calm and focused. We still have a long journey ahead of us. Day three. Night has fallen. Things are not looking good. We're over halfway there, but we've eaten all of our Italian BMT subs from Subway at the food court, and snow is our only source of water. We're bitter cold. I fear hypothermia is setting oh, in. It's fucking cold out here. N Nitten is hallucinating and often talks of cannibalism. If only we had chosen the other door and path to Hariri. If only they had shoveled the patio snow. Our morale is all but dead now, but still we must press on tomorrow. Day four, we're so close now. Despite the fact that we're thirsty, starving, and exhausted, we, we're so close. We can't give up now. At times, I think I can almost see civilization. But I realize it's just hallucinations from thirst. Nitten has almost completely lost his mind. And I fear that if we don't get him help soon, he's gonna be too far gone to recover. Sometimes think it's my fault. I was the one walking in front. I was the one who led us through the wrong door. But I gotta stay strong. We're so close. We made it. We finally made it. It's been a harrowing four full days, but we made it. Nitten, I can't believe that we finally oh, made, it. We made it. Oh, man. Oh. Dude, I need a cigarette. I'm gonna go to Vital Vittles. I'll meet you in the team room. Dude, dude. That way. Oh, good call. <laughs> <laughs>